It's almost that time of year for kids of all ages to get their freak on. So we've concocted five fantabulous, fascinating, frivolous, and downright fun activities to turn every student into a mad scientist. This episode of The Infinite Thinking Machine is sponsored by Q, the K-12 High-Speed Network, and the San Francisco School of Digital Filmmaking. Wow. As one of the world's most famous teachers, Steve Spangler simply makes science fun. Enough said. His internet TV show, The Spangler Effect, demonstrates interesting ways to apply science in our everyday lives. Each episode includes a crazy hands-on experiment and a practical lesson that is sure to leave kids wanting more. There's one explaining how to lay on a bed of nails, how to make your own Mentos and Coke fireworks, and since I am a ninja, I love the one on how to make things disappear. But it's not all show and tell. Steve's website even has instructions for cool experiments and easy to use classroom kits, including the deluxe Halloween science party kit. We hear it is to die for. As a bonus, we were able to spend a few minutes with Steve to talk about some of his favorite experiments. When you tell somebody you're a teacher, many times they go, oh, that's nice. And then you say, and they say, what do you teach? You go, I teach science. Uh, you go, oh my gosh, I hated science when I was a kid. And that, that, that happens. You know, people do say, oh, I hated that, it was so hard. Well, they didn't really hate science. They hated the experience or the lack of an experience. Um, you'll have people say, you know what, I love science when I was a kid. I've never ran into somebody who said, you know, the reason why I love science when I was a kid is because we had this worksheet we did in fourth grade that had matching and true false and multiple. They don't say that. They always will say, I'll never forget this lady, and she was crazy, and she stood up on the table, and she kicked the eggs, and she was, she went to the hospital, but the eggs went into the glasses, and I'll never forget the day that. And once you get that piece of the puzzle, you realize the difference between a good teacher and a great teacher. So if I could wave that magic wand, it would be to take our current pool of teachers, and these are the people that we get to see selected kind of around the country or attend our boot camps and district trainings and those kinds of things and take them back to a point so they can understand what it felt like being that kid in the classroom. And I want them to share not only the knowledge, because Google does that, I want them to share the passion that Google can't share. I want them to share the enthusiasm for making a new discovery and changing a variable and coming up with something new because that's viral and that's contagious. Dr. Frankenstein isn't the only one working late at night. Give my creation life! The geniuses over at Late Night Labs have created a set of virtual lab experiments that help high school and college students perform simulated science experiments from the comfort of their couch. With LNL, you get a fully virtual lab where you can interact with the same chemicals and tools used in regular classrooms. But because it's all simulated online, there's no cleanup. With over 30 bio and chem labs, this is a great way for schools to save money on a full lab setup or to allow kids to conduct experiments on their own. So head over to Late Night Labs and start brewing up some wicked concoctions with your students. If the eye is the gateway to a man's soul, where does a cow's eye lead? A series of videos produced by the Exploratorium has the answer. But to get there, you have to cut your way through. 13 detailed videos provide students with an eye-popping experience that demonstrates every awesomely gory step of dissecting a cow's eye. From cutting away the fat around the eye, mmm, yummy, to separating the pupil, to using the lens as a magnifying glass. Along the way, they label the various layers, explain how every component works, and offer insights on the entire dissection process. This is a surefire way to gross out your kids while they learn some real science. And if you can get your hands on an extra pair of eyes, download the do-it-yourself kit to replicate every juicy step on your own. Foldit is a revolutionary new computer game that enables everyday people to contribute to important scientific research in cell biology. Basically, it's a challenging game designed to crowdsource solutions to some of the world's worst diseases, including HIV, cancer, and Alzheimer's. Developed at the University of Washington, players complete a series of visual puzzles that fold cell proteins into a variety of configurations. 
the more stable the folded protein becomes, the more points the players are awarded. It's kind of like being a freaky contortionist, but with your mind. The coolest part is that many of the best players aren't scientists. They're just regular folks like you and me that happen to love twisting and turning shapes in a bajillion different ways and contributing to real scientific breakthroughs along the way. Five. It's one thing to talk about weird science, but it's another thing to actually be weird science. So we convinced our resident mad scientist, Dr. Ramsey, to let us into his secret lab as he whips up some of his favorite Halloween chemistry experiments. He'll be broadcasting a live chemistry demonstration on Google Hangouts this October. This is a once in a lifetime chance to see the good doctor work some chemistry hocus pocus. So be sure to watch the Twitter feed for scheduling details and help us spread the word. We'd hate for him to hang out all by himself. Okay, time to get out of here before we turn into one of Dr. Ramsey's lab rats. But before we take off our goggles, be sure to check the show notes for all the gory details. And if you end up using anything featured in the show, let us know via Twitter or Facebook. In the meantime, we hope you have a frantically fiendish, freaky Halloween. We are the infinite thinking machine. I am the infinite thinking machine. We are the, the infinite, infinite thinking, thinking machine. machine.